I'm Ahurizi, and uh, the issue that we will be dealing with today is what has become widely known, uh, at least in the scientific community, as uh, sleep paralysis. Hmm. Now, so that you all know what this is, or what they're saying this is, is uh, when you are either asleep or waking up from a sleep or just resting, or perhaps you're just in a prone position. You don't necessarily have to have taken a nap or fallen asleep. There is a severe sense of repression. There is a remarkable fear with a feeling that someone is pushing you down or holding you down and you can't move. It's very, very difficult to breathe because it feels like someone is actually pressing on your chest. You can't turn your head left or right. You can't open your mouth and scream for help. And in many cases, you can't even open your eyes. Now, science likes to excuse this and say, well, sometimes your consciousness will wake up before your body will wake up. Um, the problem with this is if your consciousness is awake, so then is your body. It works that way. That's just the way that it is. <clears throat> now, those of us in the metaphysical community and in the psychic community know better. This is what we call a psychic attack. Now, why do we call it a psychic attack? In every single case that I have listened to, and believe me, I have listened to thousands, the person is not terrified because they cannot move. The person is terrified because there is always the feeling and knowing and sensing that someone is there causing them. Now, uh, you can maybe excuse that away, but when a person says they saw hovering over them while they could not move, oh, actually saw, by the way, a dark being with glowing red eyes or glowing eyes that was hovering over them and had their hands on this person's chest, that's a little more than sleep paralysis. Oh yeah, by the way, the person was never asleep, okay? If a person is not asleep, they know what's going on around them. Now, believe me, I've heard many cases. Sleep paralysis? Sorry. This is a psychic attack. Now, I understand. Uh, medical science and psychology have taken great steps to help us. But, you know, the answer is always a medication. Or perhaps uh, expensive therapy. Where the person just listens and says, mm-hmm, uh-huh, oh, I understand. I see. And what do you feel about that? How's your relationship with your mother? That has absolutely nothing to do with anything. You have to remember, there, have been, there has been a spiritual presence on this earth long before you or me were twinkles in our mom's eyes. And it's high time that people start understanding these things. You can protect yourself against such things. One. Make sure that you are always aware of your environment and your environs. You never know who's focusing thought on you. That doesn't mean to be paranoid, it merely means to be aware. If you're out and about in different places and you get home, don't go sitting in your bedroom, on your bed. Don't go sitting until you've changed your clothes, gotten into something that you are used to, to wear in your home. Make sure that you don't give anyone anything without getting something in exchange. And, don't, and make sure that no one gives you something without you giving them something in exchange. And if they don't want to take something in exchange, then refuse their gift. Those are simple steps. Make sure that you are rested. Make sure that you are trying to keep a positive outlook on life. Remember, negativity attracts negativity. And positivity attracts positivity. These are some simple steps that would help you in avoiding uh, these particular types of attack. If you do have these attacks, listen, I'm glad that people believe that you should go seek therapy, but what you need is spiritual help, and at least be open to it. Doesn't mean that there are monsters all over the place that are waiting to suck your energy. It merely means you may need some guidance to at least give you a discipline or some form of a litany that will help you avoid these things. And if you are in the middle of an episode, please remember this, because I know you will be conscious. Calm down. Say something in your mind that is positive. And keep saying it. I, myself, when it has happened to me, always call Jesus.
Krishna. Someone who is powerful that I know will help me. And every single time, it has worked. So, if that will help you, then please. I'm Uhuru Z for Ask the Unicorn, and I do help, hope that this helps you.